Hey, what's up, guys? Rajat from VFX World. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. It was a last-minute plan that I changed my complete entire tutorial planning for this weekend to this Loki After Effects titled Recreation Tutorial. In this video, you guys will learn a lot of things, so don't skip the video. And I will be back after this small, small intro. So don't skip the video. Let's get started. Guys, I have a request that 75% people are not subscribing my channel whenever they come and watch my videos. So I highly recommend to all of you, subscribe to VFX World and for more notification, press the bell button. Now let's get back to the tutorial. So guys, we are right now in After Effects and this is the Loki title animation which I have created and I have added my special touch in it so that I will not get any kind of copyright from any other companies. So first of all, you have to create a new comp obviously. So I'm just creating a new comp here. So I'm just taking it 1280 by 720p a bit lower resolution of comp and name it obviously Loki and then press OK. So first of all, you need to know about few fonts here. In fact, there is a three most important font that I'll be using on this tutorial. And obviously the link for this fonts are already attached on the description box below. Go and download and use it. Okay, so you can see in front of your screen the three fonts name. So these are the most three important fonts here. Okay, so first of all, you need to type your latest. So I'm just typing LL for the Loki text. So this is our L and the next one will be our O. This is the O. So now you need to change the font here. So for O font, we are changing it to this one. This is called the colorizer black one. So this is the O text here. So now see the text is not coming like actual one because this is in small caps. So just double click in it and just press shift and press O to make it a bigger one. So this will be our uh, bigger O. Okay, so now you need to change some settings from here. So first of all, you need to change it first of all in 273 the size and then let's change it to 328 and right after that change it to 173 and let's change it to 172 so, okay so i know the values before because i already done this before okay so this is your l1 so you need to change this one also so make it to 2 uh, 293 and then this one obviously 292 is rested like this and then 196 and this is 136 is pretty nice okay now just turn this rectangle tool to make the margin here so this is your margin area so everything should be under this okay so after that i'm just typing the k1 so just press capital k here and this one this font will be our a different font so i'm just changing the fonts from here so this will be on this font arb 85 poster one okay this one now let's change it to first of all 254 and after that make it to 292 and uh, this one should be something around 175 and this one is like 159 okay now see this is like now it's completely under this okay so now just make the positions should be proper if you notice the loki text properly all the text are very close to each other okay so now the last part which is the exact same font of this o1 so i'm just selected Control c and Control v or else you can just simply Control d for duplicate and make it to top here and just repositioning it like this and double click and change it to i now if you notice when you click the i button it's created like this and if you click the capital i it will create like this so in this case you just need to press l on small caps so that it will create this kind of i text yes they are creating l as in like i yes this is the most important step so our text is right now done here so now what you have to do just you need to take a new solid here just name it to e3d because we are now done for the text part let's convert it into 3d okay so here first of all we are taking our very favorite video copilot and then element you can see this and right after that you just go to this custom layers and where you can find this custom text and mask so let's select first one this l and then o and then obviously k and then obviously this one loki okay this is done now if you notice in our main loki uh, this one if the textures are a little bit of grassy and moss kind of thing so i have a different texture here which is uh, this one you can download it obviously link is in description box below okay so first of all just uh, select this comp and just drag and drop it here and just turn off all this one we don't need this now select element 3d you need to go to this custom texture maps and from here just select this one okay so we are done from now 
and just go into this scene setup okay inside of scene setup first of all we need to go to this uh, front view and right after that we need to create extrude one two three and four times here so this is a l button here so just first of all repositioning it to something around this one and change this one to custom path 2 to get this o and right after that select this and then custom path 3 to get the k and obviously last one is custom path 4 to get the i okay so now reposition it everything like this so this is the positioning properly so we are right now getting the 3d position for everyone like loki okay now we need to change some bevel settings from here so this is our l1 select the l for the bevel so now first of all what we have to do we need to change some settings from here so first thing first we need to change the extrude from 1 to 2 and now if you notice the clearly the loki uh, text have some bevel edges so i'm just is increasing the bevel edges bit high something around like three and then we no need to use this bevel segment so just decrease it to zero now see you can find out some very sharp edges here and now increase the depth a little bit like this and that's it and now we need a bevel in backside as well so just turn it on now you can see this has become very thick just like this okay so now if you need to add some uh, varial things here you can do this but i don't think this is really required here so now we need to copy all this from this tree here so just simply select this and copy the bevel here and select and paste the bevel to each and every text here that's it now if you notice all the gaps are very uh, like small just go to this font view and just change the positions just a bit so that it will not be collide to each other that's it now go to the perspective again now you need to add some materials parts now guys this is also important step for this tutorial because everything is based on this material okay so uh, first of all for the l1 what you have to do you just have to use some very basic material so this is already applied here and go to this one diffuse and i'm just adding our this map here just like this and now if you notice the green grasses are coming up here this is actually in this original uh, the output so just change the offset a bit just like this so now the green part is very less but this is already over there so just make the positions yeah that's it okay fine now uh, what you have to do select this and copy this and paste it on glossiness and reflectivity and also the normal bump now if you notice everything is like pretty nice in fact kind of realistic look now inside a bump map what you have to do just convert bump and then just press ok and go down you can find out the reflectivity just make it to 30 percent and decrease the glossiness to something around 60 percent yeah that's it and after that go to this glossiness panel and just decrease a bit that's it very much okay now press ok now we need our environment first before moving forward just turn on this environment and i have my very own environments here which is uh, this one so i'm adding here from the studio 20 and uh, this looks just like this so it will reflect on edges properly and this is really required for this loki text okay the next one is for the golden one which is this one so i'm done for this l and now going forward this o text here i'm just adding a basic uh, material which is already i have on my element 3d pre-made package here so i'm just adding this material called a uh, gold scatter and just drag and drop it to here now you can find the lines are coming like this but we don't need this reddish tone so what you have to do first of all in the diffuse color you can change see the colors are getting changed so we need to change it to a little bit of green kind of things a dark green just like this and then just press ok now if you see the reflectivity is pretty yellow we don't need that we need it pretty dark kind of thing so just make it to something around this one and the green is pretty high value so just make it to a bit of darker that's it and the reflection and the reflection should be okay this is like by default is normal and now we need to decrease the glossiness just a bit okay that's it now this is fine and now going forward the k material this is a very simple material so you can use any concrete material here so i have this uh, concrete uh, textures here and from here i'm just using this clean number two and just simply drag and drop now if you see the concretes are very bigger so just simply go here and make it to two by two and now you can see this is getting some crystal clear and all okay so the, this one is also done and now this is the most important part the eye one this is a bit kind of different material than others so what you have to do first of all select this bevel and you can find out this pro shader map everyone is familiar with that and now you need to go to this translucent one you can find out this materials okay so first of 
all select this one secret o's and just drag and drop it to here now you can find out this green kind of thing some highlighted parts here so first of all what you have to do select this extrude model here so go to this extrusion and from bevel copies make it to two Yes, we need two bevel copies here. See, this one is came up in background. So first of all, just turn it off here and now select this and go to this elimination tab and where you can find this green color, make it to bit darker, just like this, just a bit darker shapes. And uh, from this textures, just decrease the normal bump to something around uh, like 97% yes uh, okay this is fine and now after that uh, just what you have to do just select this bevel tool and turn this on okay now select this and right after that start getting extrusion and bevel edges a little bit uh, bigger and now apply this material on it so just drag and drop it to here and that's it and now what you have to do you just have to change some z offset here so just increasing the z offset and bevel size make it to just a bit bigger and bevel expansion that's it so now what you can do this can create some depth in it and that's it we are done from this loki text and it looks super amazing so guys please uh, type your feedback on the comment section below i really looking for your comments okay so just press ok here because we are done from this side and press ok so now you can see the loki text is here so right click new and then take a new camera i'm taking like 35 millimeters and press ok okay now what you have to do just simply zoom it back like this and now press ctrl r because we don't need this uh, rectangle tools here so just make it to up and just disappear okay now let's create some light setups and all but uh, before that just take uh, ambient light here so just taking ambient light making it to 80 percent and press ok now see everything is going like white and then right click new and then again a light and now taking a parallel light and the colors should be something a bit blue and make it to 150 press ok and then press p the positions now you need to focus on the edges because all the lights should be come up from the edges now see the colors are getting increasing here so we need to focus on the edges first because that's the most important criteria for this tutorial and i think yep this is fine now go to element 3d and go to render settings and physical environment and from rotation i'm making it to 200 percent now you can see the materials are always on the edges see the all edges are getting highlighted and now what you have to do you have to go to this shadows turn on the shadows now you can see the shadows are came up here and uh, from light setups you need to change it to a basic light and then you can change the rotations here so i'm just changing a rotation bit here to apply some lights on this direction as well so that you can find out the all the bevels here okay now talking about the ambient occlusion turn it on this is the most important step here just increasing it to bit so now you can see some very cool depth in it okay so we are done from this side now let's do some camera animations here so first of all i'm just pressing p and shift a for the position and the position position of interest select this two and just move on the like five or six seconds comp and going here just a bit back that's it and from here i'm just pushing it on like and that's it now select both and press f9 and now select here select this and simply make it like this so now when you play this let's see what exactly you, you are find out so yes this looks amazing now don't worry about all the like hard edges and all because when you apply some motion blurs and depth in it it will completely gone trust me on it okay so i think the animations looks amazing but there are some lighting issues here so i have the solutions so first of all from layer new i'm taking a new light and this one will be our point light and intensity is just like this press ok now going to the horizontal view and from the top view first of all change the positions to a bit down so we need some light on from the below angle okay so this will be on our below so just like this now see this lights are hitting on the backgrounds and also the below area as well so just make it like this and the position should be from here so let's animate this first of all press p here for the positions and just make it to something around this much now see the light position changing are pretty nice okay so now change the positions to something around this area now select this two and select this to press f9 to easy easy and again change it to just like this so now what happened when you play this 
so the light changing are exactly amazing so now we need to change this one for this environment settings as well so going to the last keyframe here this is the last keyframe you just need to select this environment and going here I'm just making it to something around uh, one and after that when you play this see their environment is start rotating and the lights are coming like this pretty nice right guys okay so uh, first of all after doing this I am just adding few my very basic touched here which is some ambient uh, background here so this is the ambient background you can't see this because already it's in PNG so this is some fogs here I will add this on the complete background so go into the horizontal view so first of all select this atmosphere here and press it here like this and make it to 3d press it double a and turn off this accept lights here and now push it on Z axis very far like this and scale it up to fill this area that's it now uh, just scale it more that's it okay now from here I'm just typing a tint effect double click in it and now making it to one view and now we don't need very white lights here so I'm just changing it to a bit darker kind of thing and let's change it to some blue and that's it okay after that we are almost done here we are taking a new adjustment layer to color correct in it so I'm just taking a color corrections and I'm changing the lumetri colors okay so from basic I am just importing my very own favorite LUTs here which is this Avengers Endgame LUT so select this the LUT is applied and now see it suddenly looks change here so on my main comp here what I did I just created this Marvel logo texture here so I'm just control C and here I'm just pressing uh, just this area control V to add this Marvel logo and just repositioning it just like this now if you notice there are some opacity animation is already there so I'm just pressing T to check the opacity animation so this is it the opacity animation so I'm just going to the last keyframe and change the position to something around this and now see this looks just like this when it's hitting here now if you notice the atmosphere is already applied front of this uh, Loki text so what you have to do select this and going down behind this element 3d layer now that's it the everything is completely background in it now everything is done from here what you can do rest of the part I'm just showing you the main comp here this is the main comp I just added some depth of field here so this is the depth of field and uh, I just turn on my motion blur here so that's it these two main important steps I done for the final render and whenever you're happy with your complete output render it out and don't forget to tag me on my social media handles so guys this is it for today I hope you really enjoyed this amazing Loki title animation inside of After Effects with the help of Element 3D and comment down below your feedback which kind of videos you guys will looking forward from my channel VFX world and make sure you have to subscribe to our channel VFX world because we are very close to hit 50k okay guys if you still not follow us on our social media handles like Facebook Instagram LinkedIn and Twitter keep following us over there I am posting a lot of informations over there okay guys see you in my next video till then have fun stay home keep rocking keep watching VFX world